it's Melissa, the M from the M and H of Bespoke Hairstyles. Um, I've just done a previous recording, um, this hairstyle, Style Guide 4. So if you like this hairstyle, have a look at the previous video. But I had an afterthought after my previous video um, because I had a flashback moment. Um, today, as I was walking along, um, I was walking behind a beautifully framed young lady. I assume she was a young lady, actually. I make a lot of assumptions and I try and not to, but it's a habit. Um, and I um, was walking walking up towards her. And you know where you start thinking, uh, making, um, kind of imagining what that person would look like, kind of, um, and you make that assumption from the back of their, their figure and their hair. And, and, and she had... Um, I, I can, very straight reddish toned hair and straight enough for when the if the wind touched it it would just move and it was light and I was like or, or, oriental I know you shouldn't assume but I was oriental I'm going to walk past she's going to be oriental um, she is white uh, she's Asian no she's oriental the frame her hair da -da. She was black. And I was just thinking, my God, like, do you ever see an Asian person or a, a white person or an Oriental person with kinky hair? No, we don't. And what, what's, what's going on with us where we think that hair growing downwards is more beautiful than hair growing out? And I say this with sister lock. So this is a conversation I'm having with get, and we're going to write a blog about it because it gets French. And where we think we have problems in, in the UK, in London, we don't. Like if you look at the rest of Europe and how um, people with natural hair are um, managing their hair because of the environment they're in, they're in my God, it's like, it's just mind blowing. I, I can't imagine what it must be like. I mean, we have the freedom here to choose not to wear those weaves. And yes, I used to wear a weave and I was told to take it down because it was bad. I have friends who told me it just didn't suit me. So I've tried it. And um, the tight braiding, the way it's, it's, it's braided down. I mean, if you are getting your hair weave, please make sure that the conrolls are not so tightly pulled and that... Be careful of the sprays you're using to soothe your scalp because some of those sprays have got lauryl sulfates and the parabens and the chemicals that are not necessarily good for your scalp. And the worry is you spray that and it's trapped. The conrolls trap it and then the, the weave traps it. And um, you don't know what irritation that's causing. And that's maybe where the patting, patting, patting happens because everyone has that classic patting um, habit that happens after a while of wearing weave and there's also allergic reactions that people don't know about. My point is why are we putting ourselves unnecessarily through that? What is going on with us where we feel straight, light with movement is better? Why are we blow drying our hair so much? When, when Oget and I work with our clients we're able to curl their hair from it's being 100% shrinkage and let it naturally dry. We get the curl and the lift. So why, what, it's just thinking, I just wanted to put it out there. Let's have a conversation about it. I don't know. I still have my issues. I mean, I've got sister locks and my hair's growing down. And yes, I now tuck it away. But sometimes I like it down and moving. So let's have a conversation about it. What is going with us? What's going on with us? We're in our heads, even though we have natural hair and our hair's growing out, we still do length checks. What's that about? Why isn't there? Why aren't there? I mean, it's sexy to be have Afro hair. So why isn't it? Why aren't white people running to go and get Afro hair? And why aren't Asian people trying to get Afro hair? Why is it that we still think that straight is more attractive? Just putting it out there. Um, and the message today is no more follicle suffocation. What I mean by that is don't cover your head unnecessarily. Use the right headscarf type. I've got my satin bonnet um, that I purchased today. I've been looking for this for a while and the shop was sold out and it's come back because everyone is getting a satin bonnet. 
I will not wear because I'm thinking if it freezes on YouTube, uh, it'll be frozen with this on my head. Um, and this is the packet. Um, and when I know better, I do better. I'm still learning. So yes, before I used to have my silk headscarf, but it always slipped off. So I'm going to try this to see whether it works. Um, and I'm working towards no follicle suffocation. And I want you to do the same too. Take that weave and throw it away. And take that cotton head scarf that you're wearing all the time because you're not comfortable with your afro hair and get rid. Start watching videos and do something about the way you feel about your hair so you can start enjoying your hair. It's a minefield, I know, but let's start somewhere. Let's start talking about it and sharing our experiences and see where it takes us. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope somebody benefits from this video because it's just a, one of my thoughts. Um, with regards to the hair situation. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone for watching and you take care of yourselves. Take care and look out for more styles, more styles. Take care everyone. Thank you. Bye.